Prince William debuted his new shave and haircut today as he backed the national rollout of a recruitment drive to help veterans find work in the NHS. The Duke of Cambridge met ex-servicemen and women at Evelina's Children's Hospital in London in support of the Step Into Health initiative, a program that will help ease veterans back into civilian life. The scheme is designed to funnel the skills and experience ex-servicemen and women gained in the Army, Navy, and RAF for the benefit of the health service. It is hoped the scheme will fill vacancies from porters to directors, with salaries ranging from £15,000 to £100,000 a year. So far, a Commodore, Lieutenant Colonel and Warrant Officer are among those to have secured jobs. The Duke is making two visits to celebrate the national rollout of the Step Into Health program. He was pictured visiting Evelina London Children's Hospital, where he met veterans who are now working at the hospital, before traveling to the national launch of the scheme at Chando's House, Mayfair. The 35-year-old, who as a teenager used to hide behind his long, floppy blonde fringe, has long been conscious of his receding hairline. Prince Harry often teases his older brother about losing his locks. While chatting to a Second World War veteran in Barbados several years ago, Harry remarked that William was already bald age 12. In 2014, the Duchess of Cambridge suggested the perfect solution for her husband's growing bald patch and alpaca to be. As they visited the Sydney Royal Easter Show, Kate was shown a tuft of alpaca wool which was a similar shade of brown to the Duke's hair and pointed to William's head, remarking, you need it more than me. The Step Into Health website says, the NHS recognizes the transferable skills and cultural values that armed forces personnel develop when serving and how they are compatible with those required within NHS roles. Whether you are interested in catering, maintenance, administration, finance, communications, management, or are enrolled in one of the clinical services, this program will benefit you. The NHS is keen to invite you to explore your transferable skills and the potential training and career opportunities available. One former servicewoman of 20 years' experience who has benefited from the scheme likened her role in the NHS to the pressures of a war zone. She explained that the skills she had learned were extremely transferable. You have to be very good at assessing a situation and making a decision quite quickly, which enables us to get things done, she added. Military personnel have lots of skills that are directly transferable to the NHS, said the former vet who went on to become a medical manager within the armed forces.